hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to achieve this ninja band hairstyle so let's get straight into the video hey guys so i'm going to start off with pre-straightened hair i straightened my hair off coming i'm just trying to comb it and mold it into the shape i want to see where my band will be i'll be using the Cantu styling gel for this style and um, for at least for my first face styling gel i'll be using Cantu, and i'm going to just spread this um at the roots of my hair um i do not want gel all over my hair so i'm just going to spread it um, in front and at the back just so that my hair can lay very flat And I'll be using the Barilla Snacks Gel Glue to also tighten the grip so that um, my, my hair could stay at least within three to four days. Um, if you have natural hair and you're looking for something to you know, hold your hair for a long time, using Echo Styler or Cantu Styling Gels will not be enough. Um, I will recommend using um, Barilla Snacks Gel Glue. And here you can see I'm only just brushing my hair so that it could lay as flat as possible. And I'm going to be using a rubber band to tie my hair to make the band. Um, I already did this off camera but I used um the rubber band i used i soaked it in coconut oil melted coconut oil so that um, once i'm ready to once i'm ready to take off the band um it will be very easy for it to slide off and it would avoid breakage as well i'm going to go in with a little bit more um, styling gel this is the country that i'm using and you can see how flat my hair has laid for the hair, I'm going to be using the ultra braiding hair. I also pre-stretched this hair off camera. I know that in beauty supply stores, they already have pre-stretched, pre-stretched, <laughs> pre-stretched hair. Hey, Rafa, they already have pre-stretched hair, so you can as well purchase that one. And you can see that I've already pulled the hair, and I used one part. And for this part, I can't explain. So just see how I'm going to. Could wrap the band around the hair so that I could attach it to my hair. So it's around the band, and now um, this part is going to be difficult to explain, but I hope you'd be able to get it and also see what I'm doing. But as you can see, I have divided the hair into two one on each part and then I'm going to twist the hair. Now the thing is once you are wrapping the hair you should make sure you are still twisting it. Um so I'm going to wrap it clockwise. Yeah, I don't know. I think I don't know if I'm using the right direction, left or right, but basically I'm going to go clockwise with this and once anytime I wrap um I twist when I wrap I twist just so that you could have a very nice uh, twist look so you can see that i'm wrapping it around and every time i wrap it i twist the hair now i'm going to also wrap it around my original band and the thing is once you wrap it you don't you have to wrap it under the first one so then you can see that the first round is done and i'm going to wrap it under the the first one so you can see the hair is pushing out so that is what you're going to do now i'm going to leave you to watch the rest so that she can at least see how it's done. And it is very important that you also tighten your grip when you are when you are wrapping the hair so that it, it doesn't fall off easy. You can also use bobby pins after everything just to get a secure hold but for me, I, I just use one bobby pin to hide my hair, which you will see very soon when this is done. And for the second one, I'm going to go anti-clockwise. I'm going to go the opposite direction of the first one.
Also, you can use different braiding hairstyles, hair types. I know that people have used the, the kinky type of hair to also achieve this hairstyle. People have even used um, um, weave on, you know, all those Brazilian um, um, wigs and all of those things. You can use any of these um, hair, hair types to, you know, achieve this style. And now you can see that my real hair, you can see the way my hair is looking on top. So I'm going to push it in and also use the bobby pin to also push it in further as well so that my hair is not really seen when you look at the pony. I mean when you look at the band, ninja band. Now time to do some baby hairs. This step is very, very much optional. You can do it if you want. Personally, I like it, but I realize that sometimes by the time I'm done with my makeup, my baby hair is also going and I have to redo it. So I just need to put it back. I think they're really cute. So you can go ahead and also lay the edges. And then I'll be using the um, got to be glue to seal it. This will also help for my gel to stay in place and I'll be wrapping my hair guys this is not dead 26 is not dead it's makeup from previous makeup indeed so it's not really dead so I'm just going to wrap my hair and let it dry obviously I didn't let it dry totally so by the time in the next clip you will see a little bit of white cast it's just gel that is not dried but that will be the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.